when I was uh, 19 years old, I was, uh, there's a chain of events that ended with me uh, being stabbed seven times in the back. That's the end of a different story, but also the beginning of this one. So they took me to the hospital, and there's a lot of activity, and everything was moving very fast, and I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. I just knew that uh, I'd been hurt and that I was bleeding a lot, and uh, there was a whole lot of people working on me all at once, and uh, there, was, there was a conversation that occurred over me uh, between some of the doctors and staff where they were, they, they were, they were saying that they, they didn't know uh, how deep these some of these puncture wounds were, and they needed to find out very quickly uh, what organs were impacted, and the quickest way to do that was to to to, to reach into them, and they were uh, debating with one another of whether they should do it one at a time or all at once, and the prevailing opinion was that they should do it all at once because it would be too much to bear if they did it one at a time. And so uh, they're going to give me a, a literal three count and go in. But right before they did, uh, the main doctor, she, she, she braced me by the shoulders and she said, Mr. Little, <clears throat> you know how doctors uh, always sugarcoat everything? Uh, you know how they say if it's, if it's, if it's going to be a shot, it's going to be a, a little pinch or if it's going to hurt a little, it's not going to hurt at all. If it's going to hurt a lot, uh, it's going to hurt a little. This is going to hurt like hell. And so they counted me down. And it began. And I was, I, was, I, was, I was propped up at a 45 degree angle, uh, supporting my own weight with my arms. And... Uh, it, it was the pain was not localized. The pain was absolute, and and every neuron in my brain fired, and every nerve ending in my body lit up, and and I don't know how long it it, it went on for, but it it was one of those moments in your life where just time stops, and I became aware. I don't. I can't imagine that my arms didn't buckle, but I didn't collapse. So I can only think that I was being held up by some macabre version of light as a feather, stiff as a board, with me being piped by these doctor's hands. And I became aware of this, this sound, this uh, ceaseless, unending human sound and it was terrible and loud and filled everything. And, and, I, and, I, and I was thinking, what is that sound? And I became aware that it was, it was human screaming. And I thought, what the timing of this? I'm going through something. Who is making all that racket? Why? I mean, I understand we're in, in a hospital. We're, we're, we're in an emergency room. Uh, but have some dignity, for goodness sake. And I realized it was me. I was involuntarily screaming at the top of my lungs, and it was breathless and infinite, it felt like. And finally, it stopped. Uh, they, they were done with that, that moment, and I collapsed, and I was slick with sweat and blood, and I was still bleeding out. And, they were just moving on to the next stage of, of taking care of me, and I, and I, I begged them. I, I, it's something I, I've never done before in my life and haven't done since I begged them. I said, just please, just don't touch me for 30 seconds. Just give me 30 seconds. When they were done, after, there's a lot more tests that happened, there's a lot more things that occurred, but when they were done, when I was, when I was stapled and stitched and bandaged and wrapped and stabilized and, and everything had been cleaned up, the doctor dismissed everybody. And she says, 
Mr. Little, Justin, I, a lot's happened tonight. It's happened very quickly, and you probably don't know, you probably don't grasp the gravity of it, but I, I need to tell you something. You, you sustained seven puncture wounds from, from a knife. Five of them were bad. Five of them were, 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 were deep, and, and to the hilt probably inches deep. None of them damaged anything but muscle tissue. And I was like, uh-huh. And they're like, no. She, <laughs> what you need to grasp is that with this type of grouping, this these numerous wounds of this type at that depth. One of them came with millimeters of your spleen, one came within a millimeter of your spine, another one was so close to your lung. But nothing but muscle tissue was impacted. In six weeks you're going to be walking around like it never happened. And that doesn't happen. People don't come in here with this and not have any traumatic injuries to their to, to, to any organs. This is statistically impossible. Like walking between raindrops. And Mr. Little, Justin, I don't know what you believe in, but when you get home. You better thank them. And I wouldn't say that I was a disbeliever at that time. I would describe myself as a, cl a closet believer. And, and that wasn't, that I, was, I continued being a closet believer after that. But that moment was the pivot point for that door to swing open. And for me to start imagining what it'd be like to, to be out of there. Thank you.